Example number one out of your textbook. Yeah. All right. So example number one wants us to find or write an equation um, for the area of a circle. And there's a couple different ways they want us to write it. As a function of its a, they want us to write it in terms of its radius r. B, its diameter. and C, its circumference. All right, so the way that we do this is we know that the area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius squared. So basically what we've got to do is solve for the following variables based on what they ask us to do. So for part A, I'm going to start with A is equal to pi r squared and I'm solving for the radius. So mathematically what I need to do is divide both sides by pi and I get the area divided by pi is equal to the radius squared. Okay. Oh, wait. That was already written in, in terms of radius, right? I, I'm saying that backwards. We're writing the equation. Um, boy, i got to be careful. i got to think about what I'm doing. It's the first problem of the day. That was already written in as a function of r, wasn't it? Right? A is dependent upon the value of r. So, wow, that was, that was, that was the first one. We don't need to do anything fancy. Now, to, to do that in terms of the diameter, there's a relationship between the radius and the diameter. So, normally I would put the radius squared, right? Well, the relationship is 2 times the radius is equal to the diameter. So, if I solve... For the radius, I get the diameter over 2. Right? Because the diameter divided by 2 is the same as the radius. So now, if I square that, I get the diameter squared over 4. And I suppose I could write it like this. I could say the area equals pi over 4 times the diameter squared. Now circumference is a little more challenging. If I'm going to write this in terms of the circumference, I'm still going to start with a equals pi r squared. Well, what's the relationship between the circumference and the radius? Well, we said that the circumference is equal to the diameter times pi. But we know that the diameter is the same as 2 times r times pi. And what normally goes in here is the radius. So I'm going to divide this by 2 pi on both sides. This 2 cancels, the pi cancels, and I'm left with 2 pi, or c over 2 pi is equal to the radius. So what I'm really doing is these two statements mean the same thing, right? 
Does that make sense? Does anybody have any questions? You guys know what I'm doing? Yeah? Okay. So now when I square everything, that's really like saying c over 2 pi times c over 2 pi. So I get pi times c squared all over 4 pi squared. And if I think of this as pi over 1, I can cross cancel this pi with one of these pi's. And so in reality what I end up with is 1 over 4 times pi c squared. And I could simplify that a little further how your textbook has it and I could say that the area of a circle is actually c squared over 4 pi. Does that make sense? Just algebraic manipulation. So now I might write a program, like let's say Mr. Adams uh, owns a company and I sell swimming pools. And the swimming pool, I am, and I, I make covers for swimming pools. And let's assume that there are circular swimming pools, above ground pools. And so I can write a computer program that will automatically calculate the area or the material that I'm going to use based on either the radius of the pool, the diameter of the pool, or the circumference of the pool. And in that program, I would use these three different equations. And the computer would automatically calculate it for me. Does that make sense? 